Good evening. The state treasurer has predicted a huge surplus and delivered tax cuts for business in his mid-year budget review. But while hundreds of millions will be spent in a bid to create employment, the government has slashed its forecast jobs growth. Long promised, the treasurer says he's finally delivered the state back into the black. Now is the time for us to be balancing our books. Revising up South Australia's 2015-16 budget surplus from 43 million to 355 million. Thanks mostly to a huge $448.5 million return from the Motor Accident Commission. Is it perfect? No. Is it good? Yes. Is it better than it was? Absolutely. And I deal with the revenues I've got coming in and I spend appropriately. And the government will be spending. Bringing forward a one-third cut in stamp duty on the sale of non-residential properties, which was to come into effect from July 1 next year. It's a great win for the sector, uh, but of course uh, at a time when the country's economic development is lagging uh, here in uh, SA, uh, any measures to stimulate growth uh, of course are welcomed. Spending too in the struggling construction sector. More than $200 million on 1,000 new housing trust homes, $12 million to lure emerging enterprises to the Tonsley Innovation Hub and almost $3 million to help the flagging steel industry hit with cost and job cuts in Wayala. We have said consistently the government needs to build, build, build its way out of a very bad economy. The Treasurer defending not going further with stimulus. You don't want to, you know, make fire all your shots at once. We've got to be nimble. And those large surpluses give us the ability to be nimble and tack into the wind because there is great uncertainty out there. But still the jobs outlook is grim. Tom Coots and Tonus slashing his original jobs growth estimate from 1% to only quarter of a percent. The government doesn't give two hoots about job creation in South Australia. There's no real surplus in this whatsoever. You've got the Treasurer raiding the Motor Accident Com Commission and no real stimulus whatsoever to create one single additional job. And state political reporter Rory McLaren joins us now. Rory, the Treasurer has upped this year's surplus, but that's not the case for the following year. Yeah, that's right, Kate. As we just heard, he's predicting a $355 million surplus at the end of this financial year, helped not just by a huge cash injection from the Motor Accident Commission, but also $114 million in extra GST income. And now the forecast is for a $500 million surplus at the end of the year after. But that's revised down from an earlier prediction of $654 million. Either way, it would be a very useful result for the government, Kate, in the lead-up to the next state election.